my Sephora haul. Hi and welcome back to my very fun channel, my very favorite place when the interwebs dwelling. My name is Tanika. In case you are new here, my channel focuses on fashion and travel and beauty and all the things really. It's just really my place where I love to talk and chat about my fab luxury leisure lifestyle. So you know Sephora is having yet another VIB sale. I promised the good people over on TikTok that I was going to do a long form video where I talked about all the stuff that I got. Now I didn't do very many recommendations over on the other social media platforms because I felt like a lot of people were giving really solid advice, really good information, and there was just no need to pile on. But I'm happy to share what I personally got and I will also share some things that I didn't get but I love and I have and I didn't have to re-up on because I already have them and things and things of that nature, okay? So let's get into the video. Also, over 80% of y'all that watch my videos do not subscribe to my channel. You need to subscribe to the channel. You need to subscribe to the channel, girl. I mean, come on. You know, it's vanity metrics, but you know, it would be really cute if you, if you like signed up. So hit the subscribe and also hit the bell notification so, so that you never miss an upload from me. So let's get into the video. Okay. First and foremost, she is a Shiseido sunscreen girl. I probably like two other sunscreens on earth. Um, and I like this one the very best. This is my absolute holy grail. I cannot live without it. It is I have to have it. It is a uh, clear sunscreen, so it goes on really clear. Um, it has no white cast. I will wear it without makeup. I will wear it under makeup. And it's SPF 50. And a little bir birdie told me that they're about to release SPF 60, which we live for and we love. So I love sunscreen. It is like critical to my skincare regimen. And I'm so obsessed with this shiseido clear sunscreen stick so i had to i always every time i pick up one but i actually ran out because i usually keep a bunch of these and i ran out so i was like okay i absolutely actually need this i'm gonna be saying i need a lot of stuff but like make no mistake if you make no mistake about it we just really need world peace but i will be saying i need a few stuff but you know take it with a grain of salt okay topicals i actually love these so they come six in a pack uh or six and a, yeah they come there are six pairs of these um i love these they have been trending really hard over on tiktok because they're doing a, a bunch of really fun and cute marketing and they have all like the cool girls doing the marketing but i have been a day one topicals faded girl okay i love this stuff it works for me um i have reoccurring dark circles under my eyes that is hereditary I have to have sunscreen. I have to have topicals. Like, I wear these like every single day and I have some, but you know, you always just want to re up a little bit, you know? Uh, this glow recipe, watermelon glow, this is actually Kennedy's. So, she loves this. This is a good toner for her. Uh, but yeah, this is her. So, let me get this out of my bag. So, this I'm actually going to be trying for the very first time. So, it is the On Till Dawn uh, one size waterproof mattifying waterproof setting spray i have heard nothing but good things about this the reason why i wanted to get this is because although i have dry skin i love like in the heat and like you know i love to travel i'm always in the caribbean africa all the things so i want like a more matte face and i know i need a really good setting spray i've been using ben Nye final seal but honey it feels medicinal it feels like i'm spraying medicine on my face like you know what i'm saying like i just really need to get my life together but i love that but i wanted to try this the girls say this smells like hairspray i guess we can smell it now oh i sprayed one little dot and i'm already shaking okay yeah okay yeah it does smell like it it, it smells like hairspray i can confirm also from one size i picked up their mattifying primer secured the sweat i've heard really good things about this i want to say i saw monica style muse love her been an og follower of her so love her 
Um, and I think I saw her use this first and that's what made me like, I'm like, okay, I really need to really get into this. I love this. This is mattifying. Again, it, it's for like when I go on vacation. I have dry skin. I really have like dehydrated combination skin. So, which means that I get oily like every other person in the world in like my T-zone. But the rest of my skin is super, super dry. Like as soon as I get out of the shower, as soon as I wash my face, my face feels like it's stripped. But it's not technically dry skin per se because it's not dry all over. Um, but it is like deeply dehydrated skin. It's like combination to dry. And so um, I do like to mattify like my T-zone, especially when I'm traveling to warm countries, which is my life. Okay, ooh, baby. Let me tell you something. I love, the girls over at Fenty Beauty, they have been working. They've been working in the girls need a raise. They've been working in the girls need a raise. I don't, Rihanna's people. Rihanna, oh. Oh yeah, so I got the shade. I don't know if you can see it. Remember when the OG content creators used to do that? Clearly that didn't work. Okay, I thought it was gonna work for me. Ooh. Okay, so it's called Too Too Much. It's, uh, it's their Demi Glow, a light diffusing highlighter. And so I'm super excited about this. I got another one I got directly from her. I think it's called like Rich Auntie or Rich something, somebody's rich. I got that from her um, website directly because Sephora didn't have it at first. I think they have it now. But it's like the super gold one. This is more pink peachy. I actually love a pink peachy highlight because I use my uh, undertones are like gray. Um, it's technically called neutral, but you know, it looks very ashy, honey. And so what I do is I'll do like a warm to neutral foundation and then I'll go in with like some pink tones and it just balances out my complexion. So I love to do that and I love a pinky, I love a pinky champagne -y gold situation and this is it. Come on too, too much. Yes. Okay, I picked up the Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush in the shade Cheer. And this is very much like too, too much. This is from Rare Beauty. We love a Rare Beauty. I love when they have their launches. I um, love when they have new stuff because I love their packaging. I love, I just love it. It's so good. I wish people would stop making white, you know, makeup, but not the people. I mean, like, you know, the packaging because it gets dirty. My fingers have makeup on it and everything. You know what I'm saying? It's just too much, but anyway. Um, this is the shade Cheer. It, I don't even know if you can see it. This is the shade Cheer. It's a beautiful, oh my God. I'm gonna put it on top. Hmm. Can you see it? Oh, look at that. It's super pearly. Bling, bling. Absolutely. Love that. Uh, listen, I love highlighter. I love highlighter, blush. I love makeup in general, but highlighters and blushes, count me in. Picked up another one of my NARS uh, foundation, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is like an everyday foundation if you wear foundation every day. It can also be special occasion. I love it. I just love this. I actually used to wear New Caledonia. I still wear New Caledonia, but um, again, it's getting warmer and I uh, stay out in the sun because I love the sun. As long as you have your sunscreen, it's fine. So I went up a shade and I went neutral. It's uh, the shade Dark 3. I don't even want to butcher the name. I know this is a location, but I can't even say it. But this is it. The color is so pretty. And it's just, it's like a spot on match for me. And I love it because it just, it matches like the perimeter of my face, which I love. You know, the inside of your face is always a little bit lighter, especially, you know, the girls of color. Our faces are a little bit, you know, it's, uh, it's always a little bit lighter. So I never try to match foundation to the inner part of my face. I know a lot of people who do that. That's not my preference. I like my foundation to be 
a little bit darker, a tinge darker than my skin tone or like warmer or something like that. So pick that up. Next, I have the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin in the shade, I don't know if it's six or nine, whichever is the darker one. I think this is nine. I think this is nine. This better be my shade, otherwise I'm gonna be mad. Now I picked this up in the store. But you know, sometimes you will dig behind where the tester is and it will be an entirely different like number and you'll just pick it up because it's in the same section and then you get it home and then you realize that's not your shade. That literally happened to me with like the NARS creamy pot one and it turned out, um, it actually worked out perfectly for Kennedy. So I picked up custard, which is like, girl, 95 two shades like for me. But it turned out to be great for Kennedy. Oh, look at that. Yummy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I I have two or three of the skin tints. Um, or I've gone through two or three of the skin, the yummy skin tints, like the liquid form. So I wanted to pick this up because I just feel like people rant and rave about this stuff. And I'm like, I can't believe I haven't gotten it yet. I feel like I did and then I probably misplaced it because that's so me. I picked up another one of the serum skin tints. This is in the shade 14. Ooh. I hate when it doesn't correspond. You know, like it's not universal for the brand. That's the only thing I don't like. Yeah, this is in the shade 14. You can see it right there. Beautiful color, matches the doll. Oh, I love this era of foundation we're in. I'm just so happy. Because when I was a kid, when you had dark skin, all you could really wear was Fashion Fair or MAC. Now, I wasn't wearing foundation then, but I remember my mother really had two choices. And then when she went to the drugstore, she may have had like Black Radiance, maybe a little bit of Black Opal. But that was it. There was no like 50 brands to choose from, no 50 shades. Everybody was getting the same undertone. Like there was not as much diversity in makeup as we see now. Now there are some girls that we need to get with. There are some makeup brands. They really need to get it together. But when I think about uh, brands like Fenty, when I think about Lancome, when I think about Estee Lauder and the range, the range is supreme. And the black brands like Danessa Myricks, they are getting the undertones so correct. Like the undertones are just spot on. And I just love that for me. I love that for me. I also really love NARS undertones. I think NARS does undertones so well because it just really matches me. <laughs> Hello. Oh, from Danessa Myricks. I forgot I got this one. Ooh, I got her um, creamy bronzer. There's an official name for it. It's not called Creamy Bronzer Girl. It's called the Flushed uh, Blurring Balm Powder. Mm -hmm, that's the official name. I love a good branding situation. Now, how do you open? Excuse me. Baby, this is packed and wrapped better than your luggage going to South Africa. Oh, my goodness. Oh, get it together. She's almost there, guys. She's, okay, there she is. Ooh. What? Perfection. Ooh. Oh my God, look how beautiful and bright that is. Ooh. That is a poppy pink. That is a beautiful poppy pink. Ooh, I love that. And let me tell you something, these, I have like five of these, maybe four of these. These glide on so perfect. And they go so well with so many skin tones. All you need is a little bit of translucent powder on top and you are good to go. Like it literally dries down. It's not going to, you know what I'm saying? You know how sometimes, you know how other brands like the blush will feel like sticky after you apply it and you, it's kind of like a base for a powder. No. This is all you need. I love this. It's super beautiful and pink. I love it. I might do me like a little tutorial over on 
uh, TikTok, or I might do like a makeup, like some makeup reels. That would be cute. Um, the shorts over here on YouTube. Okay, and then I picked up two of my absolute holy grails from Hourglass Cosmetics. Uh, this is the Vanish Airbrush Concealer. I love it. There's a lot of hype around these, but I love it. I have the shade Teak and Dune. I will also use the shade Brandy, so sometimes I'll switch it up. But I have like a lighter one and a darker one. I'll put one here. You know what I'm saying? So it just all depends. It all depends what your flavor is. I just put like a darker one down and then I put like a lighter one in the crease. I will also use the NARS concealer as well. But I adore this. Like this is one of my absolute favorite Hourglass products. No, it's it's my favorite not one of my it's my favorite couple more things so i picked up the tower 28 daily rescue facial spray because every time i fly i i kind of get like acne whether i wear makeup don't wear makeup don't touch my face don't apply anything i literally get like a blemish and i saw some review and they were saying that they use this and they spray this all over their face before they do their skincare because it kind of disinfects their face. It's like a face disinfectant. Uh-huh, absolutely. Pick this up. So I will be trying this. So I can't say I recommend it. I will link it below, but I can't recommend it because I haven't used it yet. So this will be my first time, but I'm happy to link it below. But that's one of like one of my challenges that I have is I always wake up the next day. When I say always, I mean 100% of the time I wake up with a little like a little bacterial friend it doesn't matter if it doesn't matter what I put on my skin I mean hopefully I'm hoping this works next I picked up the Patrick Ta she's on vacation I love this stuff this is like a bronzer for the body and I oh my goodness I love it I think it is just so good and I ran out which is crazy because I've had it um I had it for a while. Now this costs a pretty penny. I think she's like $50. She's $50. I love to give this as a gift, especially if my friend's having like a tropical vacation. It's such a good gift. Um, and it's like a bomb. It's like a skin bomb. Look how chocolate. Mm. You see them. You see the chocolate. You see the chocolate. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm love this stuff Ooh, the packaging is perfection love it so happy i picked this up okay next we have um i don't i never know how to pronounce this but it's called the augustinus bader oh my goodness it's the rich cream i first got introduced to this cream and i hate that they introduced it to me oh my god i have too many problems in life like i don't need another rich problem to have i literally was introduced to this by shop bop they sent it to me in a pr package i used it up to the very drop it is the best cream that has ever touched my face like it is so light and thick at the same time i know there's some kind of formula that they use and i've tried to look up so many dupes nothing will do it lasted me so long i used my last pump i was pumping 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 and baby we had come to the end i decided to look her up and found out that she was three hundred dollars not this little one it was the big one so then i ended up getting a smaller one which was like 150 dollars so then in the so i do have that but i want to travel with it too so i ended up getting the travel size which is like 95 dollars, and i know that is some rich people problems right there i know i just said something crazy but it is totally worth it if you are like into creams um it is totally worth it now you would think for that price point beyonce would be in the bottle but she's i guarantee you she's not she doesn't even play a little song for you there's nothing in there but the cream but I did pick it up because she was 20% off. So I feel like maybe I saved money, you know, girl math. I forgot to mention these lashes. These lashes I also got from the Sephora sale, which are um, by Lily Lashes. We love Lily Lashes, honey. She does a real lash. Um, and they are Powell Street. I love Lily Lashes. They are so 
just great. And they're also really great for events. I also picked up these House of Lashes. And uh, these are, it's called Marigold. So love these. I usually pick up two or three pair of lashes during the Sephora sale because they last me so long. And then I also picked up the Dior Forever Glow Maximizer. So I already have one. And I wanted to pick up the darker one in the shade Bronze. Look at that. Ooh, I love these. I love how everybody is so interested in our bronze, honey. They are getting us ready for spring. And Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Ooh, that is going to look so good. I'm going to wear this even on the eyelid. And just like as a little base for the eyeshadow. Absolutely, you're feeling it. Yes. Okay, so that was all for what I actually purchased this round. I feel like that was a lot. I feel like it was a healthy, healthy amount. I always tell people, get your wish items, your like high price items, stuff that you always use, but also stuff that's on your wish list that you know you absolutely want, but you kind of like are gagged by the price point. Yeah. So these are a few of those items that I highly recommend. I just didn't get any more because I already had them or I have like backups of them. So I decided not to get any more, but I wanted to include them because I always recommend these products. So let me share. The Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, I love this stuff. This is so good. I love the way it spreads. I will spread this also with the oil. And I think it's just so good. It's something about this cream that I keep coming back to. I love Sol de Janeiro. I actually went on a brand trip with them. Um, had a really good time in Aspen. But um, I paid for this myself, okay? Everything in this video I paid for with my own coins. But um, Sol, Sol de Janeiro makes such good bum bum creams. They're just so good. Like, they're staples for a reason. I love all the scents, but I've really been in my, like, very nutty era so i love this wait a minute i think this is a brand new one i pulled from the from my cabinet oh no it's not <laughs> i've had this for a while <laughs> okay but i have some backups but i want to share because if i didn't have so many i would 100 percent buy this if i were shopping in the sephora sale if you don't get anything else This is actually on sale on Sephora.com. It's on sale on top of the sale. Yes. And that means I feel like it's about to go out of stock. Oh, I have so many of the refills. I have so many refills. I don't even buy the jar. That's why it's not perfectly placed because this is a new refill amount. But this is the Fenty Beauty Butter Drop. I recommend Butter Drop for everybody. Everybody gets butter drop. Everybody need. Oh, what is that? Everybody needs the Fenty butter drop in their life. And this has like the gold speckles. If you are going out for a date night, you don't even need any perfume. It's the warm cinnamon. You are going to smell like the absolute warmest, scrumptious, just like the most delicious, decadent, just fab girl like this is for the fab girls if you're not a fab girl that's fine you don't need to get this if you're a fab girl this is for the fab girls if you're not a fab girl i get it speaking of fab girls i know i said if you only get one thing get that but the truth is if i'm being even more honest i would say if you only can get one one thing of the one thing this is your baby i don't know what type of magic they are doing over at fenty skin fenty beauty people let me tell you something i need to be a fenty advocate ambassador or something the way i ride for them over on tiktok because i just you know what it is i can't believe people don't know about this I got this for my sister for Christmas. I got this for so many people. Like, I'm like, baby, this does it for me every single time. I can't even describe it because I'm bad at scents. You know what I'm saying? I'm bad at describing scents. But I just can't stop smelling it. It is so good. Oh, my goodness. Like, I don't know anybody that doesn't like this. I know people that don't like the perfume that is supposed to go with this. But this is like, it does, it smells like the perfume, but it, it, it's like, it's a different type of smell, if that makes sense. It's just its own thing. 
I've never met a person that I recommended this to online, in person, in our space that does not love this. 10 out of 10. And it costs a pretty penny. This this is a decadent girl. This is a luxury girl. I think she's like 80 something dollars. Like she's a she's an expensive piece of change. She's not um a little bit of lunch money. You know, she's a week worth of lunch money. And so the fact that she's on sale, especially if you are rouge, 20%, 15%, mm, we want a little bit more, but I think it's worth it. Also, if you can't buy now, let me just say this. Nothing in this video, do not go into debt trying to keep up with the Joneses. That is me, please. I'm just having fun, putting my recommendations out there, telling you what I like, what I bought, what I would do, etc. If you don't have it, please don't feel the pressure. But let me tell you something. This will go on sale. This also goes on sale on Fenty's website. I don't know for how much. This does sell out every now and again. So you have to be careful about that. Another thing, another trick you can, um, you can do that a lot of people don't know. If you like it, and let's say you may not have the coins right now. Let's say it's Monday. You're scared it's going to sell out. And you don't get, you don't, you know, you don't get paid until Friday. So you can't really purchase. You have a Sephora near you. Just go into Sephora and ask for a sample. They'll give you a sample. Yeah, you can just have a sample. It's not going to be enough to cover your whole body. But girl, it'll get you through date night. <laughs> it will get you through date night. That little, yes. Take a sample. Because I'm like that with scent sometimes. It's like, oh, everybody likes it. Everybody recommends it. I don't know. And so I'll, I want to like see it on my body first. I want to smell it on my body. I want, you know what I mean? I want to see what it gives. It's super moisturizing. Like whenever I get something that smells so good, it's usually not as moisturizing. So I'm always concerned. This is both. This is both. Girl. Oh, the Josie Maron. Oh, I love them. They make some of my favorite, just consistently favorite body butters and body creams. I love them and I love this stuff and I think it's so good. I just love it. It smells so good. This is the vanilla vibes. I think, oh, I don't think I pulled it out, but I actually purchased the mini for travel because I'm always thinking about travel. So I purchased the mini for travel, but um, I have this and I already have a backup. So I didn't want to be hoarding. I'm already hoarding. So I didn't want to hoard more and get more. So I just made sure uh, I mentioned that in this video because it is so good. It's, it's on the same vibe as the Fenty's it really is the same kind of moisturizing it's on the same wavelength same vibe the only difference is it has a little bit more lemony and I'm not very much a citrusy girl but I do like this one it's so good I love it it smells so it smells like a lemony custardy like you're gonna smell like a snack you're gonna smell like a snack like you will be a snack last but not least because we're sunscreen people wait a minute okay Oh, get into it. Um, I decided to also mention, but I just got this before the Sephora sale because I was like, okay. Um, I was scared this was going to sell out. Child, they get me every time. But this is also say, Sol de Janeiro. And this is their Rio Radiance Body Spray. And it has a little scent in it. It's just like, it's like a three-in-one product. It's um, moisturizing. It's glowing on your skin. It has a scent to it and it's SPF. So I love this stuff. I wish they made it in a travel size. That's the only thing. Oh wait, I might have the travel size. Oh no, no, no. I have the oil. I have the oil. I haven't tried the oil, so I really can't recommend the oil, but I'm sure it's good. I just haven't tried it yet. I just, ha I just have not tried it yet, but this girl, Oh my goodness, this is so good. Look at that. Look at that glow. Already. And I'm about to go to bed and I'm sitting here spraying myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love it. Love. I love all the stuff I got. I'm so happy. It gives me so much serotonin. I enjoy watching these videos. I know I usually do fashion and all the things. I do have spring fashion outfit ideas coming. Um... Yes, I am going to re-record my video with Mr. B. I know that was supposed to be up months ago. My hair looked horrendous. I don't know what was going on. The leave out was looking left out. 
So um, now that the leave out is fine, allegedly, we're gonna try to do a new video. Mr. B is up for it, he's game for it. I have the question, so don't worry about that. And we will do that. So if you like this video, please go ahead and like, please comment, please subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that you never miss an upload from me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.